Hi everyone, I'm Kurt King and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to take notes, how to convert those notes into a study guide, and then how to study those notes. First, we're going to open up two Microsoft Word documents. Now in order to do this, you're going to go to the bottom of your screen and click on your Microsoft Word icon. And whenever you do so, a blank Microsoft Word document will appear. Now whenever it does, you're going to click on the edges and resize it to the size that you would like it to be. In order to open up a second Microsoft Word document, you're going to have to go to File in the top left hand corner of the screen and click New Blank Document. Simply clicking the Microsoft Word icon at the bottom of the screen will not open up a new Word document. Now always make sure that the document on the left is smaller than the one on the right. Uh, and you can try and make the, the proportions about the same as I have. Now the reason we do this is because the one on the left is for our notes. It's where we're going to be taking our notes. And with it being smaller, it forces you to try and take down just the key words because you have to try and get a complete thought in and click enter before you reach the other side of the Word document. Now once we've finished taking all of our notes, then we can come over to the sc our screen on the right and convert our notes into a study guide or a table. Now in order to do this, first you're going to go to the top of the screen and click Tables, which I've already done, and then you're going to click New. Now according to how many questions you're going to be turning your notes into, uh, you can choose accordingly uh, as far as the cells go in Table. Now once you have your table up, then you're going to convert your notes into the table or into your study guide. Now I've already done this. So I'm going to erase this table and bring up the pre-made one. Now, here's my notes converted into a study guide. Now, once you have converted your notes into a study guide, you can close out this window and go ahead and bring this one out to full size. I'm going to highlight my first answer to the first definition and I'm going to click play. Now the reason I do this is to ensure that I'm going to pronounce the word correctly. Now once I know how to pronounce the, the word Neolithic age, I'm going to hide the answer to our definition. From here, I'm going to have Read and Write Gold read me the definition. The period of human history from 8,000 to 4,000 B.C. farming. Now, after I've had it read me the definition, I'm going to say the answer, Neolithic age. Now, I'm only going to do this first, this first definition five times. I would have Read and Write Gold read it to me five times, and I would answer it five times. From there, I would drag the screen back over, have Read and Write Gold read me the second answer to the second definition. Once I had done that, I would hide my answers again, and I would have Read and Write Gold read me the second definition five times, and every time I would say the answer. Now once I've completed the second one, I'm going to go back up to the first one without dragging the screen back over to see what the answer is, and I'm going to have Read and Write Gold read me the definition. Once it's read me the definition, I'm going to say the answer, and then I'm going to check myself to ensure I got it correct. Now, if I did not get it correct, I'm going to, going to do it three more times. Once I've done that, hopefully I'll get it correct the first time, and I'll go on to the second one. Now, if I get the second one correct on the first time, I'm going to drag the screen back over, and I'm, I'm going to have Read and Write Gold read me the third answer to the third definition. Then again, I'm going to have Read and Write Gold read me the third definition five times, and every time I'm going to say the answer. And once I've completed the third one, I'm going to go back to the first one, and I'm going to do it once. I'm going to ensure that I get the answer correct, and I'm going to do the second one once, then the third one once, and then I'll do the fourth one five times. Then once, 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 and then the fifth one five times. Now I'll repeat this process throughout the entirety of the study guide. And it sounds like a long, grueling process, but I promise you it flies by 
And the benefit of doing it this way, uh, in the years to come, whenever these definitions come back up, uh, they will be in your long-term memory. 